Welcome to the future of spelling. My name is Sir Link a lot, as I like to link, yeah, a lot. Linking is a fun and easy way to remember things by trying to find a connection, a link. And it is really good for spelling. It's ridiculous, I say it every time. It's a joke. How good it is for spelling. Is it one of those? No, it's one of those. Stop it. It's so good for spelling. You get the idea. Every lesson I talk about a particular linking technique, but before I do that, you know what I've got? I've got some shout outs. Some shout outs, some shout outs, some shout outs, some shout outs, some shout 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 the first one <laughs> is, I need to lie down, I think I need to lie down. The first one is from nine-year-old Tabitha. <coughs> She's got a good link, <coughs> forgive me, for a homophone. Homophone is words that sound like phone is phonics, like sound, like telephone. Homo is the same, the same sound, but, but spelt differently. Wonder and wonder. Wonder with an A. I wander about all over the place. I wandered far and wide to wander. And then wonder, W-O-N-D-E-R, is for like the seven wonders of the world. Like, oh, wow, that's wonderful. What a wonder. Okay, let's put them here actually. Wonder with an A and wonder with an O. I haven't done that. I've, I've sort of done it over the years, this link in my head. And I think it's in one of my books, but I've not done an animation for it on the app. It'll be there sometime. So I'm glad you've nudged me on it. And I may, I may nick yours, actually. Well, mine is very similar, I think. It is really. But good on you, Tabitha. This is great for a nine-year-old, okay? For the A and the O. Check out this link from the tabs. Here we go. Isn't that great? She's got the A of a way. To wander away. To wander away. What, you keep wandering away? Get back, get back. Want the A of a way, and then wonder with an O. O. Oh. Oh. How wonderful. What a wonder. The seven wonders of the world. Oh. And also the mouth. My one is the mouth is O shaped. Oh. And my one is, hey, come back, come back. Where are you wondering? Hey, come back. A sounds like hey. But that's mine. A and O. But hers is really good. Excellent work tabs. Go Tabs, you get a two finger ripple. Rippity rip, you get a pencil and a, and a badge of course of, and also you get one of these. You do not get one of these. No, you don't. Excellent work, really good Tabitha. You are clearly a linker. Great to see, really, really good, really clever stuff. For a nine year old, fantastic. Uh, all you need to play is an imagination. No rules, no system, nothing mate, nothing. People who say thing, anything, with a K at the end, anything. What, what is that, really? What, what is that? Stop it! Anyway, and the next one up is from a boy called Addy. Ten-year-old Addy he said, it's only a quick small link, but I still like the idea what he did. He said, so link a lot. The word link, it's got the word ink in it. And you link with ink because when you do cursive writing, joined up writing, you link with ink. I like it. Nice little rhyme. Go ads. Go ads. You got yourself a badge and a pencil and a shout Great stuff. Keep those links coming. Now, today's lesson, lesson number 33, is the last lesson, the last daily lesson, Monday to Friday. It's the last one in lockdown. I'm doing more lessons next week, but it's only twice a week. Boo, boo, boo. But twice a week, hey, better than nothing. Isn't it better than nothing? Don't knock it. So it's Tuesday at two and Thursday at two. All right? So this is the last of the daily lessons. And it's the last lesson. I've got to pick my favourite linking technique, obviously. And it is everyone's favourite. Everyone's favourite. Words inside words. There are so many. It's ridiculous how many words inside words there are. Or even part words. So a big chunk of word. That's still good. The first word up is... Medicine. Medicine. Look at this. Look at this word. 
Medicine, you think M-E-D-S-U-N, medicine, or M-E-D-S-E-R-N, medicine, M-E-D-S-U-N. Some people, some people, oh, come on, spit it, mate, spit it, spit it. Some people pronounce it medicine, three syllables. It's a big fat no. It's two syllables. You say medicine. You don't say medicine. Stop it. Stop it. No. No. Right. Medicine. This is a really difficult word. Over to you. The challenge is being laid down for you to spot some words here. Can you see a word at the start? A big word. It's actually an abbreviation. Uh, well, no, I sort of think. It is an abbreviation, I suppose, but you know the term. A word, the first the first bit, the first part of a big chunk of word there. Then there's a small word near the end, a two-letter word. Then the last letter is the start of another word, but I'll come back to that. It's near the front. Can you see quite a big word at the start? Let's start you off. With this clickety clock, here we go. Oh. Did you see it? Let's see if you did. Over to my link. Medicine. The word medic is followed by the word in which is followed by the letter E, which is the first letter of the word emergencies. A medic in emergencies uses medicine. Medic in emergencies. If you saw the medic, well done. Nice work, nice work. You saw the medic, excellent work. Medic is short for medical practitioner, which is a quite long, I'm a medical practitioner, oh, I'm whatever, medic, that'll do. Far too many syllables. So medic, also paramedic as well. So, this book. I bought this book for my wife on one of our wedding anniversaries years ago, which went down really badly. She said, well, what? as a present, I mean, really? Yeah, really hand, really useful book, really. Any sort of illnesses, a tremendous book. For a wedding anniversary. So I lost a lot of points, a lot of brownie points there. But she since said, great book, love the book. But wedding anniversary, bad call. Cool. Very poor. That was a... From Sir Link a lot. A good book, but me, bad call, bad call. Great book, that really good, really good book. Anyway, easy, easy, steady, steady. Medicine, not medicine. Stop it. Medicine it is. All right, on my watch, it's medicine. Don't say medicine. Leave it. The next word up is excellent, which is a great word. Like excellent, sounds like it is good. That's excellent, excellent. Hardly bad news it, so it's excellent, excellent. What a difficult word, excellent. You know, where's the S, come on, come on, come on. Oh, X and S, I think no words. X and S are together. XC is pretty rare, actually. It's normally EXE, um, but EXS, I'm pretty sure I'll check this. I think no words are EXS, I think, I'll check. So EXC, an excellent, two L's in the middle, maybe? Right, over to you. There's a challenge here. Let's put it on the clock. You've got to find, well, there are two actually. There's a four letter one and a five letter one. There's a four letter girl's name here and a five letter girl's name in the middle. All right, all right. Let's see if you can spot one or both. Here we go. You see both? The five letter one is a really use, but the, the first, actually the four letter is still good, still good. But the five letter one, <gasps> did you see it? Did you see it? <gasps> Over to the linkity link. Oh, I do. Excellent. The letter X is next to the letter C, which is next to the girl's name, Ellen. Ellen got a C for her homework which is not an excellent grade, but it ain't bad. Did you see L or Ellen? If so, two finger ripple, but you still got to cover the X and the C. So a C is not an excellent grade. A C is still not, it's quite, it's an okay grade, but it's not an excellent one. So C is not, X is crossed. Uh -uh. Not an excellent grade, okay. Uh, so letter C, the, the great C. I just looked it up, actually, just checked. XS, there's a couple of words. X serviceman, 
maybe, with a hyphen, there's a bit of rare wine access, and a coxswain, which is pronounced, so I spelled coxswain, a rare word as well. So let's just forget it. X and S, generally, forget it. Do not put them together in that order. Never. Stop it. All right. The next one up is... Many. Many. I mean, that's got to be M-E-N-N-Y, surely. Many. M-E-N-N-Y. Like Jenny or Benny. I mean, come on, that's money. <laughs> Let's put it on the clock. Small word here at the start. I'm sure you get it. Ready, steady. see it? I'm sure you did. Over to the link. Many. The word man is next to the letter Y for yes. Has Sir link a lot, the go-to man for spelling, thought of many links? It is safe to say yes. Many? Hundreds! With loads more to come. Loads more to come on the app. We'll be loading up more periodically, as and when. More to come, and more of Susie's stories as well. Lady Lex, Susie's stories. We love those. We love Susie's stories. They're great. Right, many. Man, and then the Y of yes. Is it in? Yeah. <laughs> no, it is. The next one up is... Discipline. This is a good word. It means uh, control or order. There is some good discipline here. We've got some nice control. It also can mean punishment. I'm going to I'm going to discipline you for that. Like or a verb to discipline somebody to punish them. Let's do that to get them back in order. To get them in order, control order. Like self discipline means you are in control of your yourself. Of course, nice one, obviously. Offs discipline. So on the clickety clock, clickety clock, clickety clock, clickety clock, clickety clock, clickety clock, clickety clock. <laughs> What was that? Stop it. Stop it. Oh, it's Friday. Whatever. Whatever. So, discipline. There's a word at the start and a word at the end. A word at the start and a word at the end. Can you see both? Quite biggish words. More than two letters for sure. Can you see both words? Let's put you on that clock. Did you see them? If you did, <laughs> nice. Over to the link. Discipline. The word disc is next to the IP of the word hip and the word line. You must show discipline if you don't want to slip a disc or damage your hip when line dancing, especially at your age, Grandad. Ah! Oh! <sighs> no, your limits, Grandad. Come on, Grandad, with your disc and your hip. Disc. Hip, line dancing, disc hip line, drop the H of hip, discipline. Is it in? You know it is. A slip disc, is it out? It is. Ooh. Anyway, it's a really good word to use, discipline, but a really difficult word to spell. But not anymore, all right. The next one up is conscience. This is a good word. It's um, what you feel, is a feeling that you've got yourself, what you feel is right and wrong. It's a moral right or a moral wrong. You feel, yeah, that's right, and that affects your behaviour. My conscience is clear. I've done something, but I think it was the right thing to do, so my conscience is clear. Oh, I've done something. I haven't thought that through, and I feel bad on my conscience. Oh, it's on my conscience. Oh, no, I feel bad. It's a really good word to use, but a difficult word to spell. But not anymore, because you're going to see two words here. This is made up of two words. The first word is an abbreviation, which is now a word on its own, a standalone word. And then next to a word which you all know. So, let's start that clock. Did you see both words? Let's find out. Conscience. Con, meaning to trick somebody, and science make up this word. Would it be on your conscience if you managed to con the science world? We love Rex. Go on, Rex. Unicycle. Tremendous. We love Rex. Top boy. 
So, con and science. If you saw those two words, excellent work. Two finger ripple. Con is short for confidence, as in confidence trick. If somebody is, your confidence is when you feel how certain you are about something and reliability, I'm confident with that. You know, I feel sure that's right. It's tricking your confidence. A confidence trickster is somebody who, you know, a bit dodge, playing with your mind. Oh, he's a bit of a con man. He's a bit of a con man. He's dodge. He's dodge. He's very dodgy. Ooh, very dodgy. Con science and science, of course. If you can't spell science, we've got a link for that separately on the app, which I covered before in the lessons. Get on the app. Get on the app. All right. Conscience. Really good word. The next one up is great. This EA stuff, you know, I mean, break. There's four or five words that come to mind. I've got to think steak as in food. Like you eat steak at the EA of eat, the EA of steak. Break, like breakfast, you eat EA again. Break, steak, and great. There aren't many words with an A. I mean, that should be G-R-A-T-E. Something great you that really, oh, that grates me, or fire great. That's G-R-A-T-E. If you're grateful, that's full of greats. Like gratis is, that, you know, I'm very gracious. That's to be thankful, to be grateful. But that's G-R-A-T-E, not G-R-E-A-T-F-U-L. Big fat no, big fat no. This is this should be greet, like meat, to eat meat, you know? Greet, surely that's greet, oh come on. Really difficult word, really difficult. Now let's put you on that clock, on the good old clock. Can you see a word at the end? Come on, more than two letters. Let's start that clock. See? Over to the link because it's great. Great. The word eat is at the end of the word. It's great to eat. It is great to eat. It really is great to eat. If you can't spell eat, the word at is inside there. You eat at the table. Eat at lunchtime. Eat at inside eat. Now you can spell eat. You can say it's great to eat meat, but more fun to eat a treat, which you can't beat. In the heat, it's nice cream, whatever, okay. All these words ending E-A-T. It's building blocks. Get the word eat locked in, and you've got so many more words. But don't put it all into one big fat sentence, like 10 of them. Just say it's great to eat a treat, at a table on the seat or something like that, but just two or three of the maximum. Don't do too many. Great, there you go. But grateful is G-R-A-T-E-F-U-L. I'd be grateful if you could rate my app on the App Store or Google Play or Amazon, okay? I'd be grateful if you could rate it. Grateful, rate, R-A-T-E is inside there, okay? Grateful, rate. There it is, okay? Grateful. So, the next one up is... Temperature. Now, this A in the middle is difficult. People say temperature. Temper, you see the word temper there? And you can say, um, I lose my temper, or people lose their temper at high temperatures, which is okay. People lose their temper at high temperatures, which is pretty good, temper and at. I don't mind that, that's pretty good. There's a nice word in the middle, a three letter word in the middle, including the A. See if you can see this one. Not so easy. Let's, uh, let's see what you can find in the middle. It's a nice word. Right. Let's start that clock. Can you see the word? Over. Telling. Temperature. The word era is in the middle of the word temperature. Temperatures are rising in the modern era, folks. Did you see the word era? Era is like a, a period of time, like the modern era, uh, Victorian era. Um, you may have seen the word rat, which you know it does include the uh, the A. So you may have seen rat, but maybe a rat loses their temper at high temperatures, which is okay. But I like the word era. In the modern era, temperatures are rising. It's quite you know, poignant, relevant. 
to what's happening at the moment. There you go. Era inside temperature. But if you don't know the word, don't worry about it. Do the temperat, it's fine. Whatever works, whatever works, whatever works. The last word today is immediately, immediately, immediately. Not immediately, immediately, immediately. That's immediate. five syllables. But people say immediately. You know, I, mean, I say things very quickly in short words occasionally. Maybe I shouldn't do. You know, that should be vegetable. And accidentally. I say accidentally, vegetable. I shorten things. Immediately, immediately, immediately. Immediately. So, this one, there's a word I've done. It's not a complete word. I like put it into a sentence, but I think the whole thing works. It's a bit of work, but I think you may have to watch it a couple of times. But I think it will go in. I'm quietly confident. Over. To my link. Immediately. Immediately before I slimmed, I ate lots of yummy food. As my weight will now drop off, so do the following letters. Immediately before I slimmed, I ate lots of yummy food. Slimmed without the SL, I ate lots of yummy food. L-Y, lots yummy. Is it in? <sighs> you know it is. So that was the last one in today's lesson. Hope you enjoyed the show. Words inside words. You can't beat it. It's just tremendous. There are so many words inside words. It's ridiculous how many there are. Now, as I was saying earlier in the lesson, uh, this is the last of the daily shows. But next week, there's going to be two shows every Tuesday and Thursday at two o'clock. With a slight tweak, it's still spelling stuff and punctuation and grammar. But I'm doing themes like uh, words to do with geography, words to do with uh, history, words to do with food, words to do with maths, to do with school and that sort of thing. a theme. Similar words, you've seen lots of them before already. And there's going to be some new stuff, new material. But packaging it in a different way, which I think may appeal. It should be good fun, I think. That's next Tuesday and Thursday. Same format, so as always. Tuesday at 2, Thursday at 2. Tune in at 2 on Tuesday. Tune in at 2 on Thursday. But Thursday, Thursday. Um, but also, don't forget, 2, this afternoon, I'm doing an Insta Live at uh, 5 o'clock on the uh, my Insta channel or page, whatever it's called. Okay, there it is. If you've got any questions you want answering about me, about my personal journey over the years, what inspired me, or about spelling, or about learning any fact, like if you want a trick for a world capital, or a history date, or maths definition, or science fact, any fact, I'll think of a link for it, all right? There on the spot, hopefully. If not, we'll do it as a team. Uh, but I'll be asking you questions as well. I'll be throwing it back in your face. And with good answers, the first, people to, the first person to ask a certain question gets one of those. <coughs> And also a badge and a pencil, a bit of competition, a bit of competition. You can't argue with that. So we're lots of fun every Friday at five o'clock. Or should I say, Sir Link a Lot Live. Friday at five. You know it's a good one. And the last thing I'll say is I always do. The name of the app is Sir Link a Lot, mate, in it. Is it in? You know it is.